Hello beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. My name is Christine. Hello. Welcome to another All Signs Tarot reading. Well, <laughs> floppy cards today. All Signs Love Tarot reading. All Signs Love reading. This is a collective love reading. A love reading for the collective. Their feelings for you your feelings for them, who's making what move, if any, what's on their mind, who and what is coming through today. Let's take a look at this energy. Judgment and the Five of Wands. Judgment connected to the crown chakra. I know this is Archangel Gabriel who is connected to the sacral chakra, I feel, as well as the third eye chakra, I see. Asking the person who's coming through here today, what do you want? Make a decision. You know, get some clarity, clear things up, get out of your head. <laughs> Look, with the five of wands here as well. Well, I'll tell you what, there is definitely an apology here. It's pretty big, actually. It's asking for forgiveness. Somebody who does want to air everything out. This is somebody from the past coming back in here. It's this reconciliation or closure for you. It's really not clear, pun intended, <laughs> at the moment. But something is going on here with the person who's coming through. We also have the Five of Wands, Saturn and Leo energy. Are they getting out of their head? Are they, look, going into this reversal energy here, Wanting to solve these issues, it looks like it. it. looks like they haven't been yet. What happened? What is this person also needing to be held accountable for, for here in judgment? Did they have poor judgment? Did they make some bad decisions? Has there been some dishonesty? All right, we're off and running. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. This is a timeless reading, as are all readings at the Tarot Closet. You're here when you're meant to be here. It's a faded connection. It means there's a message here for you. So welcome again. I'm glad you're here. All of today's readings, all signs tarot readings, love tarot readings, and yeah, collective love readings. <laughs> Messages from your person, that's what I wanted to say are linked both on the channel under playlists and really easily accessible down in the description. You'll also find under the playlists and the description all 12 zodiac signs. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth twin flame readings where I take pretty deep dives. So feel free to explore. If you're inspired to do so, let's continue looking into the energy that's coming in here today. Whoa, we have Justice and the Ace of Cups, another major arcana, Libra energy, Venus, the planet of love, which of course belongs to Libra. Justice is connected to the heart chakra. This truth is something that needs to happen. It's healing. So it, it's also telling me that, yeah, somebody wasn't being honest in that energy not judgment energy. So what decision are they needing to make? What decision are they making here? It looks like to come and be honest with you. It's coming here with the Ace of Cups. And I want to tell you, you know, there's definitely an apology in this cup, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. It's overflowing. It's the emotions. It's your connection. It's your love. It's also timing. And I'm also, and I just wanted to say, I know, but this is how this is how it's coming through for me. It's what I'm feeling. That I do feel this reversal energy. That this is somebody who has like let you down in this respect. So were you heading for another level of your partnership? You know, was there something that was on the horizon or there in terms of Next level, moving in, marriage, family, that sort of energy. Going exclusive even. Because there is definitely a feeling of disappointment and letdown energy. I mean, we're waiting for this person to make this decision, quite literally, to come and be honest. 
And that's the thing also about justice. This is a master number, and that is around new beginnings and coming together. So whether this is in person or in par uh, apart, you know, like via message, let's see. This is a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. I would appreciate it if you took the time to subscribe to the channel and like today's video. Let's continue on. Thank you again for joining me. Let's see what else is here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else we need to see, Aho. Seven of Wands in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, Six of Wands. Eight of Wands, yeah, <laughs> there's the communication, which you're not so sure about. Seven of Wands in reverse. Mars and Leo energy also, yeah, an energy of, okay, I'll hear you out. Because look what's going on in the partnership placement. It's the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So it's somebody who wasn't being reciprocal. Uh, it's the moon in Taurus energy. You know, and that's putting the moon in reverse, which is somebody getting clarity and truth around this, which we know. And that's the other thing. What has been going on in this exchange and this partnership? Some of it is some bad decisions around judgment that they are taking accountability for making some decisions to come and be honest and own that injustice. So, yeah, I understand why there's this energy of, okay, I'll hear you out, <laughs> kind of like an arm's length. Uh, but here they come in. This is a strong validation of the communication. Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sagittarius energy. So hearing from them is happening pretty fast here. The eight, of course, is an action number. Eight is also connected to karma. So they're making a right, making things right energy is here. Is there something else going on? Are they just coming in to pay off some karmic debts? Let, let's see. But they're definitely coming in to communicate. That much is really clear. Eight, the infinity is connected to truth, balance, and renewal. And that is, and I, <laughs> we just saw what's going on under here. And that is connected to justice. And we have the six of wands here. Jupiter and Leo energy. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, you know, just pros prosperous energy around information and being hopeful, things happening, moving, abundance, that kind of energy. And it's coming here in the Six of Wands, which is right after that Five of Wands we saw. So that was one of the questions. Are they wanting to work things out? Yeah, it, they do. It's like victory after the storm kind of energy, like here they come now. And so here are the Six of Wands, look. These are the Seven of Wands. You're holding on to the Seventh Wand here. And here they are with the Six of Wands. Giving them, it's sort of like, yeah, I'll hear you out. Defense is down, you know. Most definitely this person coming in to communicate. If you can see them, and that that is ours. We, we saw that, kind of saw that coming in. If you can see this person in real time, let's say in the 3D, chances are, yeah, very good that you are. However, and and what I wanted to say is it, it could definitely be out and about. So out somewhere or even around other people, including like some kind of event, you know, they're definitely making a point here. They want, they definitely want to contact you. However, you know, Mercury energy is communication. It's oftentimes connected to reading and writing. So we could also be very much looking at a text message, SMS, if you will, email, social media, if you're connected there. So there's the three of wands which showing itself. Here's the emperor. Here is the emperor here today. Yeah, Aries and Mars energy, our cardinal sign really likes to get things their way. <laughs> what I like about this energy, it's, it's making it happen energy, is it's in the upright. And the emperor, divine masculine energy, by the way, has been hiding their feelings. Most definitely there is some, you can see way, way down here is 
like a little river. The feelings are there. It's just somebody who's been, yeah, who's been hiding them. They're here on the sword, but they're looking the other way. This is transactional energy. This is clarity. This is truth. This is communication. It's the air energy. We saw that coming in with judgment and with justice, which of course is the sword energy. That they need to come here and be honest. So both about how they feel and what happened in judgment. The emperor is connected to the root chakra. And that's what I wanted to say. And when that is centered and balanced, aligned, it's a little easier to, to get everything else in alignment. So to, to you know, move, move bottom up the chakras and get into alignment. Of course, connecting with the sacral chakra where Archangel Gabriel is, I feel also the third eye chakra, the solar plexus ch chakra, like making moves and decisions, the heart chakra, which is connected to justice, coming in with the truth, like fixing some mistakes, making things right. There's definitely a making things right here energy. We'll see what else is coming through. I mean, and look at this energy here in the partnership placement, the six of pentacles in reverse, kind of selfish energy, not reciprocal. And that's definitely in the way of honesty around the connection. Is there, what is there, is there something specifically with a person? Let's see, but I'll tell you the three of wands is also here and it's in reverse. That's the sun and Aries energy. So this is some kind of delays in coming. First of all, the eight of swords is in reverse, which is them getting out of their head and whatever's been holding them back from communicating. And we can see here in the Six of Wands that that's, it's actually pretty clear. Six of Wands, Eight of Wands, and of course, Judgment and Justice and the Emperor. I mean, that's Judgment, Justice, the Emperor energy is moves being made. That's just really clear. But there have been delays around it. And I also feel that, oh, look at that, the Two of Cups, that the delays... Well, yeah, our the past and current energy too. Look around their love. So this is a validation also that this person has been holding back their feelings too. So not being not showing their feelings, not sharing their feelings. We already know that with the Emperor. Two of Cups here, really strong validation. Venus and Cancer energy. Obviously, there are still feelings between you. The love, the emotional energy, it's the cups. There's a lotus flower here underneath between, look, the emotional exchange. You see the two cups, the healing energy. There's the heart right above, which is also right below the two of cups. Look, our crows here connecting, talking. Uh, let's just say loving, loving on each other. So you can see communicating. Oh, so the emperor wanted to be here just to kind of send this message through. Yeah, I mean, it's just really clear that they are, there is contact being made here. This decision, look at it, the two of cups here with the six of wands. And what exactly have they been holding back? What is the breadcrumbing energy around? How they feel about you and just in the love in general. Two of cups here with the six of pentacles in reverse. And that's sliding off. This energy of, okay, I'll hear you out, is also, this one right here, <laughs> is yours, and so is this one. Don't ask me how I know, I just know. It is also, it's also clear why Page of Wands in reverse here. Why you're kind of like, all right, I'll hear you out, because I mean, look at the energy. You know, this is somebody who has held, this is something coming through, who, yeah, who has held themselves back, look, from the commitment, the connection. It's the Hierophant in reverse. Divine masculine energy, Taurus energy, and this is a card of commitments, partnerships, contracts, long term. Okay. And, yeah, the Page of Wands in reverse. It's like a kind of a struggling energy, some immaturity around it. So around commitment for sure. That much is just really, really clear. Whatever issues have been going on with this person with commitment, they've definitely been hiding 
some of their feelings and holding back and behaving, you could say kind of, well, yeah, in an immature way. The Chariot. In reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. The World card and Justice in reverse. Okay, this is all past and current energy. My gosh, this is exactly where... This is where things have... Yeah, I mean, this is where things have ended up. Look what, look what the Emperor has on their mind. So Judgment coming in, Justice, the Emperor and our minor arcana energy of wanting to connect with you, wanting to talk to you or send a message, talk on the phone, send an email, whatever, however that contact is being made. And obviously there's a lot of emotions between you and there's some type of, there's something they wanna ask you or there's some type of, you could say, proposal that, that can even just be around, let's talk, let's meet. And it is pretty intense because look at all the energy, the past and the current energy here. So holding themselves back, the chariot, the moon and cancer energy with the hierophant is from commitment, from being honest, emotionally honest, emotionally available, sharing how they feel. Not speaking the truth is really super clear. It's connecting with our page of wands in reverse and our eight of swords in reverse, who we know has been holding them back. So that's a really strong validation. And also just around how things got the way they are. What, you know, how strong the commitment issues have been. Ace of Swords also in reverse, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Coming here with the Six of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse. So stuck in their head, uh, totally blocked at, at this point. Up to this point, it's clearly somebody who hasn't been owning the fact that they haven't been honest about how they feel. And is there something else they haven't been honest about? All of that is very clear. Justice is back in reverse. And it's also why the Seven of Wands here, I feel that there's this arm's length with this person. It's kind of like, yeah, but there's been so much lying here, you know, and... Yeah, justice in reverse, the chariot, it's like the lack of truth, commitment issues, clearly somebody stuck in their head, not owning what they were lying about. So feelings are here, but is there something else too? Because it puts you here in the world, which is in reverse. I mean, the major arcana energy coming in, where things are heading is really clear. The incoming energy, where they are, it's pretty clear. It's it's not, it hasn't been moving. It's not finished. The cycle is... Whatever you need to resolve, it's not resolved yet. We already see that. There needs to be a really some serious conversations here. The energy and judgment, this person needing to apologize, actually wanting to ask for forgiveness. That's what's in this message here. And we can see why. Justice in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, which is kind of like my little mini judgment. And we saw that coming in in the upright putting everybody here so it's not finished it needs to be worked out there's problems you know and that's obvious <laughs> it's nothing that we don't know leo scorpio taurus and aquarius energy and look what is here and what hasn't been moving in the three of wands in reverse the delays the sun and aries energy setbacks it's the, the ten of pentacles it's the commitment and that's really what this is all about and this is what they're coming in here with too our Emperor, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. This is somebody who obviously has a lot of feelings and now, well, and now, but has commitment on their mind. They're coming in here with this, but there's a lot of repair work, I guess you could say. This is where things are now, but coming in here with our Six of Wands, our Eight of Wands, Justice and Judgment, both coming in the upright. So asking for forgiveness, being honest with you, being honest about their feelings, that is really clear. So all of this stuff that's been going on, yet our emperor here is, they're looking right over at the Ten of Pentacles, wants, is ready, or is ready, or is coming in here with commitment on their mind. And we saw that also in the Ace of Cups coming in. That was an all-encompassing en energy for me, and what I mean by that is, it's both the past energy of disappointment, and that really has been validated here. But it was also coming in that there's something going on in terms of 
what they want to ask you or an offer, something more. And that's just, that's clear here. There's a healing energy here in our Ten of Pentacles in this bird fountain, which is, of course, representative of healing and cleansing, both in the fountain where, where the birds go to bathe. They, you know, it's, it's water energy. It's the divine. It's love. It's emotions. There's lotus flowers floating, so it's a healing energy. It's sustenance. It's emotional giving. It's the Ten of Pentacles. It's long-term energy. Connecting with the long-term energy of the Emperor, who, yeah, is coming here in a definitely now out of shadow and ego. This is somebody who I think was here in the reverse, which is the root chakra not centered, not balanced, not in alignment, clearly, because there's a whole lot of mistakes being made. And, you know, we're all human and that's what happens. And when we are out of balance, we can make decisions based on fear, shadow and ego. This is somebody who's out of that, who's getting centered. So where are you at? Because this person's coming in here now out of this energy and saying, yeah, I want to go here with you, a new cycle, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, I love you. Were you in a long-term partnership? Were you building it? Was it on the table? They're definitely coming back here with it on the table. The Two of Cups connecting here with the Six of Wands. I actually, I want to bring in some more. Okay, and it's going into a bottoms up reading. Whoa, is that, is that it? Okay, yeah. The Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. So look, the Queen of Wands, the Empress, the Page of Cups, the Five of Wands, the King of Swords. This is pretty clear. The Queen of Pentacles, funny enough, is my protege to the Empress can heal, help help with the healing. It's around new beginnings. You can see here on the wand, the energy of love. There's a butterfly, transformational energy. It's also an energy of, of dark to light. And that butterfly energy, also them getting out of their ego, a lot of healing energy. And look what is here in our Queen of Pentacles. So these poppies are representative for me of apologies like a making peace energy and that's just been really clear in particular coming in with judgment the incoming energy of asking for forgiveness like needing to be clear a lot of healing energy around this apology that they're making so there is an intensity to this person but this is also somebody who's acknowledging look the seven of cups here with the hierophant in reverse that yes and it's a validation that there have been commitment issues here and even connecting with the Hierophant in reverse, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it could be around other contracts like another relationship romantically, but it could also be to third party energy. So like other people being involved, family of origin, cultural religious differences, sort of like expectations, which can really be connecting here. You need to be with this kind of person or that kind of person, or it's not going to work because you're so different, that sort of energy. It could be people that are involved, but it could also just be that it's been in their head because this person has really been stuck in their head. And also just even in the world card energy, some of you for distance, it could be around a person that has contracts to work or another life somehow, you know, that has created here in the Hierophant in reverse in the Seven of Cups, clear commitment issues here. And it's connected to kind of why you're where you are. So that's really clear. And even the Seven of Cups energy of just not making a decision, like taking too long here, because this is an energy of spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, like saying, just get out of here and make a decision. It's connected to the Page of Wands, you know, in reverse, which is kind of an immature energy around making some moves. And then the really strong energy of the chariot in reverse of not doing them. So I don't know. It feels like it's been in this not moving energy, the world in reverse, for a while. But it's definitely changing. And that's just been really clear with our incoming major arcana energy. And we can see what's going on in their mind here. 
and also with our Empress, who is the counterpart here to our Emperor. And look what is here in our Queen of Pentacles. It's a world. So there's our little mini, <laughs> our, little, our little mini world card, but a strong validation of this wanting to work things out, fertility, new beginnings, the healing energy here, making a resourceful energy around our Queen of Pentacles, making things, partnership, relationship, work that needs help. And the world is connected here, which is that some that's telling me that this apology really has to happen. It's not, and it's not even, obviously, somebody says, will you forgive me that everything's forgotten and everything's hunky-dory? <laughs> obviously, there's work to be done, but it's a strong validation that it's a small step in the right direction of getting out of this cycle of that you're in together of not communicating or not communicating well and or being in separation and getting into a new cycle, perhaps you could say the full energy and going, for, trying again. You know, this is obviously that there's still some obstacle, there's st obstacles, there's still some things to work out. And by the way, the soulmate energy is pretty darn strong. And if you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. It might mean something different for you, but it's here. Queen of Wands, the Empress, the Page of Cups, the Five of Wands is back, and the King of Swords. So yeah, really super clear around overcoming these obstacles that we saw. That this is a lot of this is being in their head, Saturn and Leo energy. But some of this here, look, in our higher font in reverse in our Seven of Cups could be around other people too. Yeah. Um, so that is, it's back, it's here, Saturn and Leo energy. And it's in the minor arcana energy and it's, it's connected really to the past and to the current energy. But it's been clear from the beginning of your reading and it's still very clear, pun intended, <laughs> with our King of Swords, our Six of Wands, our Eight of Wands, Judgment, Justice having come in that they are contacting you, communicating with you. So it's really strong for me that it is around probably like a social media, if you're connected there, or an SMS, a phone call, email, that sort of thing. This is Gemini and Mercury energy. However, Mercury is communication. So if you can see this person, then yeah, obviously this is something that may happen in person, but it's communication. It's really clear. And this person has been thinking about it for a long time. They've been thinking about this for a, a long time, what they want to say. They've been quite strategic about it, actually, um, our emperor energy here. we see. Did we see the king of pentacles? I don't think we did. Okay, but we have our queen of pentacles here and our queen of wands. So it's connecting with, with the king of swords for me in that they are getting the confidence here in making this move. And it's also a validation for me of the intensity here. Look at our emperor and our empress. So we'll talk about the fact that this is their energy in alignment, which I've been feeling in a moment. But this is also telling me that you're both here. And you can even see it. <laughs> I sat and watched the camera run out. I thought, I kept thinking, oh, you got to move it along. Catch the camera before it catches you. No, never the case here at the tarot closet. In any case, our Queen of Wands here today is showing both of you <laughs> two really strong lions with a lot of pride, both leaders here, you know. We're not seeing a lioness and a lion, just even in the energies. We have two, two strong energies, although the Queen of Wands is a divine feminine energy, and that is the yin energy and the giving energy, the compassion. And yeah, I mean, there's a confidence around this person to come in here and communicate with you, it's clear. And it's also clear, pun intended, that they've heard the call of Archangel Gabriel, who came in real early in the justice. Get clarity, make a decision, wake up, what do you want? They want to come in here and ask for forgiveness. And it's clear when we began your reading is this reconciliation or closure that this is reconciliation for this person. This is somebody who either knows what they want now I mean, it's clear that you have feelings for each other. They definitely have feelings for you. The, the love, there's love here. 
So they've either they're ready now or some decisions have been or are getting made in their life with justice and with judgment in order to clear the path for what they want. Because our emperors here with the two of cups with the ten of pentacles coming in here with our queen of pentacles, the page of cups. This is a sincere energy. It's hard on their sleeve. It's an offer. It is trying to figure it out. You know, it's the page energy. We did see the Ace of Cups coming in and the Two of Cups here. So is it real clear that somebody's wanting to propose? Not super clear, but that energy is here that, it, that it's maybe putting it back on the table. If that was, in fact, something that you were either in or heading toward, Whatever it was that you were heading toward, whatever that long-term energy means for you, whether it's going exclusive, that is what they're showing up here for. That's what I wanted to say. I'm still trying to figure it out, really, in that page energy. Look, there's a starfish here, which is around possibilities, but that's also an energy for me of like making things work. And this is someone who has been disconnected emotionally, not being honest, available, all of that. So there is a connection they're also coming in, they're working on it, you know, and coming in with a strong energy of forgiveness in this communication with you and confessions of love too. the, the justice energy, the two of cups here, how they feel about you is really strong because our emperor has been hiding it. And that brings us to the last two here that I want to talk about. We're just going to bring in a little bit of Oracle and love messages is this is the balance around your person. It's the Emperor, Aries and Mars energy, Divine Masculine energy, and the Empress, Taurus energy, Venus energy, also bringing in Libra, sharing Venus. And of course, the counterpart, Divine Feminine energy. So it's a balance in the, the yin-yang energy around this person, around knowing what they want, super strong uh, intense energy, kind of power couple energy, which you can even see again here in the Queen of Wands. As I was saying, I think when the camera ended, it's like that's just two intense energies of kind of like the hunter, <laughs> you know, a lot of pride there, leaders uh, of the pride, quite literally with the lion energy. So it's two people, two intense energies that can be power couple energy. And obviously when things go wrong, it can be the opposite. It can, it can be, it's intense either way. And you can see there's a lot of stuff that's been going on here. So it's the balance in their energy and the Empress coming in here, this person coming in here with all this backup energy, all the, the balance here of making the moves, but coming in with the truth, emotional honesty, opening up. This is somebody who does want to restart things. It's just really very clear. And that's the other thing. You're, you're both here. And it's not about gender. We all have divine feminine, divine masculine energy. It's about the partnership. You're both here. <laughs> so you're both here for it. Two of Cups. Obviously, you, there's still a lot of feelings between you. The Ten of Pentacles. The, the chance for this new cycle is here, the possibilities. You're both even connecting to that in the Queen of Wands today. Yeah, so things haven't been moving. This person has had commitment issues, but something is most definitely changing here. And it's via this person's move to get out of their, their head and, yeah, come here with the truth with the truth. And, and again, this person is either ready or has cleared some kind of path that they need to clear and they want to communicate. It's just, yeah, however that's coming in for you. Let's bring in a little bit of Oracle and then we're going to bring in some channeled love messages. Thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. Please show us what we need to see today. Aho. Not reading Oracle in reverse, by the way. Illusion. Oh, yeah. This person definitely getting out of this energy. It's, that's like this is the this is the uh, Seven of Cups in reverse energy. <laughs> getting out of the illusion, getting clarity, figuring out what they want. 
Also, whatever they've been telling themselves, what they've been hiding, it's like the moon in reverse energy too. Bringing in some Pisces energy, Cancer, Gemini. Realizing that what, yeah, what, <laughs> looking in the mirror, just looking back at themselves, everything that they've been telling themselves. Look, it's shattered here. Uh, lots of realizations here too. Look what's surrounding it. It's dandelions. So wishes that... Because this person's been, I don't know, and they have been an ego and shadow. I mean, actually, we do know <laughs> they are coming out of that energy. So it has been intense. So seeing this cracked mirror is really not a surprise at all. Influence. So that's also a strong validation that for some of you, there may have been other people, other things. I mean, we could even be looking at some devil energy. You can see here, look, vices. So there could be literally that kind of energy, things that had them in another, yeah, state of mind, that sort of thing. Attachments. But it's also connecting here for me with the possibilities in the Seven of Cups and the Hierophant in reverse of other, other people. So sacred space and grief. This is like, I mean, look at it. Two of you here, it's protecting the home, protecting the connection, protecting the possibilities, protecting family energy, which is also really strong with the Empress, by the way. If you were in that energy with this person, even perhaps having um, children or family energy together, that is here. Maybe, of course, even the possibilities is here. But... Regardless of all that, it wants to be here with the Ten of Pentacles. It's like protecting the, the connection, the grief energy here. So, yeah, I mean, this is around a lot of things, and I'm, I'm, there could be some kind of heavy stuff going on. But I just also feel like it's mourning the loss of what's been happening here. Uh, what happened here? Because these are two people. It's the Emperor and the Empress. There is a belong together energy here. There's a belong together energy, but look, this person hasn't been in balance and is now emperor and the empress. It's the energy here. Needing to get out of fear, shadow, and ego. Make their own decisions should there be some influence around other people. Work some things out, whether it's around other people, particular contracts they need to end, things they need to also kind of this devil energy here, Saturn and Capricorn. Should there be other things that have played a part? Because I can see there's a lot of stuff that's been going on. But it's getting into balance. Getting out of shadow. Getting out of ego. Centering that root chakra. And being able to get into alignment so that they can make this apology. And there's something to work with in terms of what you're talking about. And the direction, the possibilities of where things can go. Because you obviously still love each other. The Emperor or the Empress, the Two of Cups. And the communication is just incredibly strong once they are getting into this energy. Six of Wands, King of Swords, Eight of Wands, Judgment and Justice having come in. Your last Oracle. Oh, <laughs> look. Yeah, it's all circling back here to communication, which somebody has been waiting for. Look. Oh my gosh, with the bowl. There's there's like a cutting board out, like prepare, waiting for somebody to come here and bring s something. So it's like this energy of like cooking a meal together, which could be literal. <laughs> Somebody's at the house. But also just, you know, the metaphor of just somebody here waiting. Look, the window is open. There is a storm out. There's clouds. You can see the rain, which is an emotional energy. Um, but it's also a healing energy. When somebody's here, the, the window is open. It's like, let's talk. Well, this is just really clear because the other crow is coming in here with the sustenance, with whatever, going out and catching some fish, you know, energy, and cooking the meal together and communicating, sitting down and having a conversation is obviously the energy that's here. Wow, this just got really emotional. It felt emotional and I, I, yeah, I'm getting goosebumps. 
communication between our emperor and our empress who love each other. Two of cups, king of swords, eight of wands, six of wands connecting with what is this conversation around the ten of pentacles and the healing energy in our queen of pentacles coming back together. Okay, I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. And then we are, yeah, going to close your reading. Are you thinking about me? I trust that the universe will bring us together. Sacred space. I mean, this could be representing an actual home for some of you. Obviously, it's a nest here with eggs, possibilities, new beginnings. Two people here connected. It's really hard living without you. Yeah, look as I say that. Realizing also that they're alone here in this illusion. The behavior, you know, and kind of how where they got where they where things ended up. I just can't seem to get over you. Well, yeah. I'm just gonna put this here with our two of cups. I long for you and we met for a reason. Fate and destiny. I, th I think I want to bring in just a little bit more, more channeled, <laughs> literal, more love messages. I did not expect to fall so in love with you. I want to talk, but I'm afraid I still can't offer enough. Huh? That won't be for everybody, but it is here. I will always love you. It's the Two of Cups, but I'm putting it here in our overall energy, the Emperor and our Empress connection. I know you are giving more, and I'm so sorry. Really clear, obviously. Six of Pentacles in reverse, judgment coming in, justice coming in. I mean, we don't need to go back in, into the entire reading because if you've been here with me, you know how we got here. The Tarot Closet love messages, channeled love messages, messages from your higher self. Is that all? No, I feel like, yep, that was yours. Please never give up on us. You are the love of my life. I will always love you. Emperor, Empress, Two of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, long haul energy, long term energy, like generation type of energy. Don't give up on us. Please never give up on us. Don't give up on us. It was me, not you. Okay. I know you were giving more and I'm so sorry. I fear you have moved on. Okay, so that might be some of the energy here that's going on. I received your telepathic messages. We will be together again someday. I came here also with communication. The Tarot Closet, Channel Love Messages, messages from the higher self. That was loud, <laughs> sorry. You inspire a love in me I never knew. It's here with I did not expect to fall so in love with you. Do you miss me too? It's really hard living without you. I reread our messages, a lot of that energy here. It's also bringing in Page of Swords, Six of Cups energy, somebody who's like looking at social media or their phone, you know, just reminiscing, looking at old messages, which probably in this day and age are digitally connected, but it could be other messages. I've never felt like this. I don't want to lose you forever. These are all connected. I spy on you. Yeah, that's the Page of Swords energy that we were just talking about. I stare into your eyes in photos. Okay, these came together. Interesting. My heart belongs to you. I play songs that remind me of you. So that energy of 
being awake, looking at their phone, maybe even partaking in something, we'll just leave it at that, vices is pretty strong. Listening to music, nostalgic, reminiscing, please forgive me. Yeah, there's kind of like, there is guilt, apologies, definitely feeling bad, regret, but wanting to do something about it. It's the emperor and the empress in the upright here. Your last channeled love message, <laughs> I wanted to say. Message from their higher self. All right. You are my person. Putting this here between our emperor and our empress. It's deep today. Gosh. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you so much for being here. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. Please don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. I really appreciate that. It helps keep our channel moving, so thank you. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, take care. Bye.